All right, I'm making hummus because hummus is delicious. If you don't like hummus, you should go try it again because your taste buds fucked up the first time. Hummus is delicious. It's a great snack. It's awesome. I'm gonna make some hummus. I'm gonna show you how to make good hummus, and then that's about that's about that's about the rest of the things I need to say for this intro. Also, here's what you need. You need some chickpeas, garbanzo beans. You need some lemons or lemon juice, some tahini. That's a bitch, really hard to find in stores. You have to buy it in a bulk. That's way more than you need, but that's how it works. The, 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 the tahini game is all sorts of messed up. Salt, some garlic. I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper to get a little spicy, and some uh, ground cumin. That's everything you need. Some water and a food processor is kind of a must. If you don't have that, you're out. Step one of my process is completely optional. Basically, you got your little garbanzo beans, your little chickpeas. They all have the skin on it, right? That's, oh, oh, gross, dropped it. No one's gonna know that I dropped that one. So they all have that little bitty skin on it. See, skin. You wanna get rid of the skin and you just de-skin all of them pretty simple you just squeeze it in your fingers skin comes off bean stays a lot of people don't do this say so you don't need to do this but here's the thing if you like saber hummus saber hummus and it's kind of coarse and uh, a little thicker then yeah you leave the skins on because you do that but if you ever got into like a Lebanese place and had their hummus and it's all soft and fluffy and awesome take the skins off that's how that's that's a process that helps that you don't want, if you're serving your hummus to a hummus snob, they're going to be like, mmm, honey, I don't think they fucking de-skinned them. What I like to do is, it takes a little bit, probably like like 10 to 20 minutes, but it's like ironing, it's like anything. You just I just put a TV show on in the background, and then I, get, I let my restless hands de-skin some chickpeas, because, you know, I have restless hands. Fidget spinners were a great invention for me. Also, de-skinning de chickpeas. It's like fidget spinner for cooking. So I'm gonna go put on uh, an episode of a show that I need to catch up on while I de-skin this entire can of chickpeas so my hummus is smoother. This is the difference. There's the chickpeas, there's the skin. That gets it all coarse and gross. No skin, lighter and fluffier. All right, we got the food processor here. We got garlic already in there. I'm gonna squeeze some lemons in here. Two lemons, two cloves of garlic. It really depends how lemony and how garlicky you want your hummus. But don't worry about that shit. If, if people aren't paying to eat your food, then don't be stressed about how it comes out because who cares? No one's gonna complain about free food. But if you have people that you're cooking for that would complain about free food, then just don't ever fucking cook for those people because they're pretty ungrateful and rude. Cooking is a nice thing to do. All right, so we got some uh, tahini here, which I don't even really know what tahini is. I do, it's sesame seeds ground up, like a sesame seed paste, basically. I'm gonna use a half of a cup and I'm just gonna eyeball it Again, because if you're not baking, who cares about exact measurements? Just don't get caught up in those details, and then they won't bother you. Be like, okay. In the end, you'll eat it, and you're like, maybe that was too much tahini. Okay, still going to eat it, though. You're still going to eat it. That's, like, how that works. We're going to blend this up. We're just going to pulse it. Next, we're going to dump all the chickpeas into the food processor. Bam. Gonna add some olive oil. Some water. All right, it's like kind of smooth, so now I'm gonna add some uh, cumin. Could have done this earlier. Who cares? How much are you supposed to add? A little bit. Fuck measurements, we're not baking, we're cooking. Doesn't really matter. It kind of matters, I just don't really care that much. Some salt, salt to taste. I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes because I like it a little bit spicy. And then uh, we're blending up some more, that's basically it. 
All right, here you go. Bowl full of hummus, and then what they do when you serve it to someone right before you know you put it on the tape in the middle, take some more olive oil and you put it right in the middle a little bit, and then you take usually paprika. I don't have paprika, so I'm audibling to chili powder. And I'm going to put some chili powder on there. Let's see how that tastes. I like chili powder. All right. And then you got that, and you got that, and you mix that around a little bit. That spreads, and now you got a little dipping center in the middle. And then there you go. Got hummus. Go feed it to your guests. I actually just mixed it in. I don't know why. There you go. Hummus. I'm going to put it on some chicken later, because Katie and I like honey cru hummus crusted chicken. Ooh, olive oil makes it real good.